that set. So you're like, yo, switch up the set. I might do different things with the set, but you think I'm about to just be like, throw that set out the, the fucking door when I paid over $100,000 for it? Are you crazy? No, we're going to, whatever. Anyway, I know some people are like, yo, act, we fuck with the fact that you were sitting right next to Savage. I'm going to be honest with you, it wasn't my idea. 21 Savage said that. 21 Savage, I'm going to be honest with you, like, and I, lie, I even talked to 6 9 last night, uh, last night, and I was like, you know, as much as, I don't care what they have against each other, bro, like, just like I trade, treat 6 9 how he treats me, like, he can't tell me not to fuck with 20, like, 21 really is a good dude to me, to me. When we were about to do the episode, we were kicking it, so, so, I give you the whole how 21 Savage episode came out, right? I was supposed to do Corday, and, and this is not sending any hate or nothing to Corday, but Corday, um, I did I did one with his manager. He was supposed to come after. From what I hear, he was kicking it with his tennis superstar girlfriend afterwards. And by the way, he couldn't come before his performance at Governor Ball because what happened? Um, it was just not enough time. But afterwards, him and his girlfriend, the superstar, was her name Naomi Osaka. They took a private jet and went somewhere. Right now, I was gonna have, um. And by the way, I'm only explaining this to y'all because I don't ever want y'all to be like, yo, act, why you be like showing him so much love? I'm going to keep it 100 with you. I'm in the media. I'm nobody's slave, nigga. If you show love to me, you're going to get preferential treatment off the rip, straight up. If you don't show love, I don't fuck with you. I'm going to tell you this now, nigga. I make millions of dollars. I ain't about to sit here and let these niggas think I'm some pawn, like, oh, yeah, just do everything to promote me, but, like, I could lie to you about doing an interview. No, nigga, the niggas who come through for me. Yo, I'm going to tell you straight up, when 21 album about to drop, don't even look at me. Nigga, I'm about to post that nigga like it's going on style. When when 6 9 drop, don't I post that nigga like it's going on style? When niggas show love, bro, and that's why I be trying to tell people things, it's a 6 9 thing. When niggas show love, I'm going to show love back. I don't want not a fucking soul. When 21 album, I don't care who he dropping with. If that other nigga he dropping with didn't show love like 21, Nigga, you gonna see less than favorable or enough coverage about that other nigga compared to 21. Bro, so to put that in perspective, um, um, what's the name? Corday couldn't do it, right? I needed a, a rap guest or something like that. 21 hit me while I'm at my studio shit. He FaceTime. He's like, nigga, what you want, nigga? And really. He was actually calling me like, damn, dog, how you going to post all that shit? Because I posted when, 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 um, um, I posted, fuck, am I, am I missing? No. I posted when Drake came out on, on, um, on J. Cole's set and did the whole speech and perform. And he said, yo, act. how you going to, how you going to post when Drake came out on J. Cole tour? Like, and you fuck with me and nigga. I'm on J. Cole tour, nigga. And not only that, I came out when Drake was performing and I, and I did some shit. And I said, I said, no, you didn't. He said, yeah, I did, bro. I said, bro, I would have definitely posted Knife Talk. I ain't seen nothing about it. He said, nigga, I did, nigga. I performed Knife Talk. I'm going to keep it real. And that's why I be giving you the real about whatever. I said, nigga, I'm going to find when you performed it. And I ain't going to lie. I Googled it. I did all my shit. I found the time when he performed it. I said, oh, shit. So I said, oh, no, nah, I'm going to post it. You feel me? And by the way, I understand him calling me. You know why? Nigga, it is kind of disrespectful. Like, yo, you my mans. I'm on tour with J. Cole. Drake comes out. You post that Drake come out. And you my mans. You don't even post that. I'm, number one, Drake brought me out. Number two, I'm on the tour. So I saw shit. I said, oh, shit. I said, my bad. I did post it, right? And I said, yo, I said, yo, ain't you about to be in um New York tomorrow for, like, Governor's Ball? He's like, yeah, I got to I gotta take a private jet because he's on tour with J. Cole to go to Governor's Ball. And I'm like, yo, bro, yo, you know I got my podcast and shit like that. Like, yo, bro, could you do my podcast? He's like, yo, I'm going to keep it real. I don't know if I could, but you know I definitely would. I'm going to see if I could hold the jet because he had a jet going from, he was in Orlando at the time, to New York. And I said, all right, damn. And I'm going to lie to you. Even if he didn't do it, I respected it because he was like, yo, act. I'm going to try to hold my private jet up to do your show because I fuck with you. Anyway, he said, yo, hit him, my manager, which is me easy. Um, we started coordinating. He was like, yo, yeah, 
nah, Savage gonna get there at a certain time, but like, blah, blah. Yo, and I think they had a barber. It was like, yo, if he'll come do your shit, if you get him a barber, blah, 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 blah. I got him all that shit. Nigga, 21 showed up, showed mad love. You know what I mean? He got his hair cut. You know what I mean? Kicked it. He was like, yo, let's do this shit. That's what I be telling y'all about when, like, sometimes y'all be thinking I just have this ego. I'm just not going to let, I know how my platform help people. I'm not going to let no rapper or nothing like that just treat me like a bum ass nigga, bro. Like, I be promoting nigga shit, like, just out of my mind. Like, right now, like, for example, right right now, I'm supporting young boy. I haven't talked, I talked to young boy about three, four weeks ago. He wasn't even talking no album shit. I'm going to be honest with you. He's locked up. He wasn't talking no album shit. You know how much I've supported a young boy this week? Young boy, young boy, young boy, young boy. I'm posting this shit. Young boy, young boy, young boy, young boy. Yo, what up? I like his music. I fuck with him. Bro, if he come out and he, and I'm going to be honest with you. I'm, I got to keep it real. If he came out and he's like, yo, I'm about to do four interviews. And it's going to be with everybody but act. Nigga, I'm going to feel a certain type of way. We human, bro. Like, if you do something for a nigga and a nigga don't. That's what I was saying about 21 and compared to other rappers. They think because you in the media, the mere fact they talk to you, you should be lucky. A nigga like 21 be like, yo, I know you're going to hold me down. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to make sure I do your show. Bro, that's reci like, if you have any friendships, I keep telling you all this. If you have any friendship in life where a nigga feel like you could do everything for him and he don't got to do nothing for you or he don't got to look out for you, that's not no friendship a nigga using you. So that's what I'm saying. When 21, like, 21 made sure, like, bro, and I ain't gonna lie, I got salute to 21 again. Yo, he was a little bit late to his show because of that. He was performing right before Post Malone. He was a little bit late to his show because he wanted to come do this shit with me. I fuck with that. You feel me? And again, some of y'all might not understand that, but I'm in a media business and I keep telling y'all about rappers who don't look at people in media as shit. They treat them like shit. They talk to them like shit, blah, blah, blah. You feel me? So 21, I give him the full credit. So anyway, he pulls up, he get his hair cut, and we about to walk on set because we just right, we were having conversations before we get on set. Like, yo, me and him, we just always, like, I, I love talking to 21, like, even non-camera shit, right? It would be like, I'll give him my I'll give him my perspective of shit, and he'd be like, yo, I remember, like, you know, I, I didn't want to bring that situation because I don't want people to feel weight, but he was like, yo, he's like, right, what you think finna happen with this? And I'd tell him, like, nah, this is going to happen. He'd be like, yo, right, I'm going to be honest with you, nigga. Nigga, I'm from a street, nigga. This is what finna happen. So he t he be telling me, like, exactly whatever. And I, c I call that learning. I call that real conversation. I call that being dope. You know why? Because he's trying to learn a little bit about me, and I'm always trying to learn about his perspective. So we have those conversations all the time. <laughs> he pulls up. He's getting his hair cut, right? Um, at, at my headquarters, like, cool. Meezy shows up. Bet. Now, um, what happened? Yeah, so he's getting a haircut, and then and we're about to go on set because, like, it's getting a little close to his performance. We get on set, and by the way, if y'all ask me, like, yo, act, because I know y'all hate it, but, like, yo, act. And I don't even know if he ever seen it. He said, yo, act. I go sit at my desk, real talk. He said, yo, act. He said, ah, he said, yo, bro. He said, don't even sit at that shit, nigga. Come sit right next to me on the couch. It's like, sit right there, nigga. Like, fuck that shit. So if you if you wonder why the camera angle ain't the best, that was not the plan. But that nigga said literally two minutes. He said, "Act nah, sit right there, nigga." Like just like how we talked when we did a when you did a little docu series, nigga. We about to talk just like that. That's how we talk, nigga. It's never been on some. You're like far away, and I said, "All right, fuck it." So I sat on the couch. We put a mic right there. That's why my mic ain't really perfectly positioned. He sat at where he should have been, and then Meezy, you know, I fuck with Meezy. Meezy's a really dope dude. He just took my seat because he was going to be like third wing type shit. And that's how it went down. So, like, if you really wonder why I'm sitting on the couch, like, 21 was like, yo, bro, don't sit over there, nigga. Like, sit right here next to me, nigga. And I'm going to be honest with you, that was the right decision. That was dope. That was really lit. You know what I mean? So, it's one of those things where um, I guess I even said that to say, yo, I appreciate 21 for just being genuine. Yo, this is the music business. Like, yo, people look at media like they're the dirt beneath their feet. Feel me? Like, like no disrespect to, like, even Cardi B or, like, you know, um, um, what's her name? Nikki. But at times, they've treated Shade Room like Shade Room is just, like, a bum-ass person. When in reality, you, you both of them can't drop an album without Shade Room. You know what I mean? Like, sometimes the respect has been lacking. One thing I can say about 21, respect ain't never been lacking. You understand me? 
He understand my platform. He understand like, yo, bro, you a content nigga. You make money that way. I'm a music nigga. I make money that way. If you promote my music and my music about to do more sales because you promote this, then why would I do your show? Like, like niggas, you, you fuck with me, I fuck with you. That's one of the things that even when it comes to like, you know, the meat discussion, I tell 21, I'm like, yo, if niggas understood shit like how you understood it, bro, it would be different. But a lot of people don't look at people like how 21 look at people. You know, I said like, yo, J. Cole need an ego. I don't think 21 need an ego, but like 21 do need like, no, no, I, I think he's fine. But like, I think, what's savage? Okay. Yo, I'm going to scroll down. I'm going to scroll down, right? You see this tweet right here? Let me see if I could exit out right here. My bad. Nah, okay. It won't, it won't let it go. You see this tweet right here? I'm going to just like highlight it. I don't. I tweeted this. I promise you. I tweeted this from his phone. We're, we're walking out of the interview. We're walking in the cars because he's about to go to governor's ball. And and Savage is like, yo, damn, yo. He was like, yo, you really, like, you really think I should be, like, popping more shit? Because he's a humble nigga, bro. Like, I'm telling you, he's too humble for the position he got. He, and, and I told him, I said, yo, I said, Savage, yo, you need to, like, you need to not, like, tell niggas you better than them, but just, like, I said, just like my J. Cole point, you got to just claim you the nigga. Like, you're not, it's, it's not about nobody else, but, like, your fans watching you, like, damn, he claiming he the nigga. He claiming that he the nigga. What, what Savage saying? So I told him, I was like, yo, bro, I'm going to be honest. If, if it's me, I feel you should be like, yo, I'm number one. You ain't got to mention no artist. You don't got to diss no nigga, but you number one at what you do. So he gave me his phone. We walked into the car. me has got all this on camera. Uh, he was like, "Yo, all right." He said, "He said, he said, write whatever tweet you want," and I he didn't even really ask us to see it before I sent it. But he said, "Write whatever tweet you want." He said, "We got your video anyway, so if you say nothing crazy, we gonna say it's you, nigga." And I wrote that tweet, and I was like, "Yo, bro, like, Savage, you not the nigga who on diss niggas, but like, bro, like you, I I like when my artists feel like they the nigga, cause it's like we ruin for basketball players. If your favorite basketball player was deferring to another nigga, like, nah, don't call me the best. He the best. You'd be like." Yo, this shit whack. Feel me? So I, I I took his phone while we walking in. I said, I don't wake up thinking about nobody else, but I'm definitely number one at what I do. And um, and, and actually, he was cool with that because he was like, yo, I thought you were going to say something about maybe like specific people. And I said, nah. I said, bro, you don't have to fucking go at nobody to state your claim. I'm like, yo, nigga, there's about eight to ten artists like in the street nigga lane that's like there's nobody selling like drake there's nobody selling 600 and everybody else selling some other shit right y'all all selling in that bubble of 100 plus the streets fuck with y'all y'all real blah blah so you know what i said bro i said yo bro all you gotta do this is what me as a fan like to see from my favorite artists just say you the best bro you heard me so again just a little bit of insight but I did, I did tweet that. He ain't even deleted it, so I fuck with him for that. You know what I mean? Now, I'm, yo, I'm going to be honest with you. Uh, um, I fuck with 21 super heavy, bro. If you watch the end of the interview, I even said to him, I said, dog, why do you fuck with me? Because truth be told, I'm going to keep it real with you. I think 21 be around people. And what I mean by be around people, I'm not necessarily even saying Meek or whoever. But, like, bro, I've heard, like, little rumblings of, like, hey, that particular artist don't really fuck with you, like, like that, whatever, blah, blah. And 21 is cool with all of them. Like, yo, he not a nigga really beef for rap niggas. So I've seen him around him. And I could imagine, like, you know what I mean? Just like when people bring it up to me all the time, like, yo, damn, nigga. Yo, why are you cool with 6 9 Like, they be, it's almost like you got to defend 6 9 It's like, yo, this is your defend 6 9 moment because we don't fuck with him, right? I could imagine niggas bringing up to 21, like, yo, damn, why you fuck with academics? Like, on some, yo, nigga, the easiest thing for people to do is just throw you on the bus like... Yo, I don't really fuck with that fuck nigga. I just be, and he never did that. Like, he just be like, yo, I fuck with him because, like, he cool with me. Like, he do got his faults, blah, blah. But, like, hey, I'm not go not because you hate him. I'm going to just be like, fuck that nigga. Bro, I'm telling you, in the music industry, that, 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 that takes a lot for niggas to do. I'm just being honest. You hear me? Somebody said get Meek on the podcast. 
I don't even want to tell you like that. Hey, listen. Yeah, I think I should get Meek on a podcast. 